start this way. How many people in this room have ever felt completely overwhelmed? Anybody? All right, every hand in the room, you're all getting saved. Let's do an altar call. Let's go home. Let's jump in the splash park because we all understand what it feels like to be overwhelmed. We all feel what, what it's like to maybe not have enough to keep going. And the cool thing is you're not alone in this. If you would have looked around and seen the whole room like I did, you would have seen all of your hands up. In fact, in the Bible, David writes in Psalm 40, verse 12, this, For troubles without number have surrounded me. They overtake me. I'm unable to see. They are more than the hairs on my head, and my courage leaves me. Some translations say my heart fails me. Troubles without number. They steal my courage. My heart fails. Is this familiar to anybody? You've gone through a portion of your life where you're like, I thought I was enough, I thought I had enough, and I feel overwhelmed. The thing is, sometimes the problems of life stack up and completely overwhelm us. Would you agree? Now, it all depends on where you are in what part of your life, but there's all kinds of things that stack up and cause problems in our life. Like some of us, where we work, it's just too much, right? It's your coworkers, it's the nine to five. For those of you who work in healthcare, it's 12 to 12. For those of you who work with students, you just never stop, so that gets to be a little bit much. For some of you, you're going back to school, you're getting an advanced degree. Some of you, you're on school, uh, break from school, so that's great, but you're probably thinking about going back to school. All you college kids, right, you're working up on the, uh, uh, planning on what classes you have to take, will you graduate on time, will you keep the scholarship, right? You have to condition to stay in teams for your sports. It gets a little bit heavy, I'll admit, right? Maybe your finances. Anybody have finances that stack up in your life? No, you're all okay. Can I have some of y'all's money? Right, because sometimes finances get to be a bit much in our life, and we feel like it's just too heavy to candle. I don't know if any of you have children. <sighs> I got two under three. That's all I'm going to say about that. Maybe if you have to keep those children warm and safe and dry, you went ahead and mortgaged a house. And now you're paying off that mortgage, and you're watching the interest rates go up, and you're cleaning the house, and you're trying to keep the house clean, but you can't because of these ones. And it's more frustrating every single day. It's non-stop. Maybe you're married. Listen, my in-laws are traveling, so Don, Deb, if you're watching this, this isn't about you. I'm just saying, right? that sometimes in your marriage there's extra people who have jumped in who create a little bit of drama for you and you feel like I don't know how to deal with them. How many of you have a nice vehicle? I have two, both of them got flat tires this week. We literally leased a new car and the back left tire started venting air, but not air, it was nitrogen because they charge us an extra $100 per tire to put nitrogen in the tire because that works better. Well, now I have three tires with nitrogen and one with air. And one brand new one that went to Joe Lyon Tyler, and they just replaced that one. Maybe you're not an only child, and you have some siblings that have caused a couple issues for you. Maybe you have somebody that stole one of your bins that you use for an illustration, and it's caused a little strain on your relationships, Tika. And I don't know what kind of relationships you have, but sometimes they get a little bit overwhelming, right? There's, am I, am I connecting, right? Did I say the right things? I'm not gossiping about them, right? Do they like me? Did we chat about it, right? Is everything good between us? They haven't texted me in the past nine minutes. Maybe we're not all good. Maybe they took personally something that I said. Maybe you're dealing with some health issues. And maybe it's become an issue in your life where you thought you were young and healthy and this wasn't going to be a problem for you. And then all of a sudden something pops up. For the past 18 months, I've been dealing with something called a frozen shoulder, where I have trouble lifting in a certain area. I'm in constant pain with it, but it's always kind of there. I didn't think I'd have to deal with that at this particular age. And then there's just a sundry list of stuff. Whatever else you got going on, you can make it up yourself, right? You can fill in the blank of what's going on where you thought that you had complete understanding of what was going on in your life. You had a plan. You had clear vision. You were ready to go with what you were doing. And then the troubles started piling up. And then you start to feel a little bit overwhelmed. And then you wonder, doesn't God have a plan for my life? And he does, and you have to go back to last week and hear Pastor Chris pre preach on Jeremiah 29, 11. But sometimes, isn't it true that we just feel so overwhelmed that we can't actually do everything God has called us to do or our family has called us to do or our kids need us to do or our job wants us to do? And sometimes it's just too heavy. And the fact that we all understand that as people is a good news that it's common to all of us, that even Christians and Christ followers experience too 
much. And so we have to understand that sometimes we are overwhelmed. I love how the psalmist puts it in Psalm 38, verse 4, my guilt overwhelms me. It's a burden too heavy to bear. Verse 8, I'm exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. My groans come from an anguish. Where's the lie? I love the Bible. It's so honest. It's just true. It's like some days I'm like, ugh. That's just when my alarm goes off. And then I think what I have to do and what I have to get the kids to do and what I have to do for work and what I have to do to go to physical therapy and then my tire goes flat so I can't go to physical therapy. And I have to call and cancel and I have to say, let me check with insurance if you have any more physical therapy appointments and then come home and pick the kids up and then make dinner and then clean up after dinner. And then it's like 8 o'clock and you put the kids down for dinner and give them a bath and you can actually talk to your spouse, but she's on call so she's going to go to bed so you're going to go downstairs to your office and get some work done. That's just me. <laughs> and sometimes, thank you, Lisa, have you ever felt so overwhelmed by your situation in life that you're just like, Pfft. they do in the Bible too, and that's good news. And today we're going to talk about a bad lip reading that well-intentioned people say, but it's really stupid. They say something like, God will never give you more than you can handle. 